Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and my minimalism journey. My name is Natalie. If you're new, I'm still new too, so that's okay. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, decluttering your closet and what you can do to help reduce clo closet buildup, I guess, or closet declutter. Um, so I found some statistics online that I'll share with you. The first one is the average American woman has 103 items of clothing, clothing in her closet. I'm not sure if that includes shoes or not, but I don't think so. Because the next one I have is the Amer average American wo woman owns 19 pairs of shoes with 15% of women owning 30 or more pairs of shoes, 30 or more. That's a lot of shoes. Especially for someone like me who works at home. I don't need show shoes, you know, five out of the seven days of the week because I work from home and don't go anywhere typically. Um, and when I do go out on my days off, I usually just wear tennis shoes or something equivalent. So, um, so I guess if you're trying to, and I did this kind of when I started working from home, is go through your closet, see what items may not fit you or you were just using when you went to work. And if you don't either like it or it doesn't fit right, get rid of it. Or if you're just hanging on to something for, oh, one day I'll fit it, um, I'll use it, or, or one day um, I'll fit into it and it's not the right size and it's too small. Just get rid of it. And um, I know that some people are like, well, I can't get rid of things. I'll go, I'll be back in the office soon. I want to have this stuff on hand. Well, here's my thing. When you probably do go back to the office, um, you, you may want to get some new items and some new things to like freshen up your wardrobe. So if there's something you really truly don't want, get rid of it or don't like, get rid of it because it's one of those things where you will probably want some new clothes if you do go back to the office or get a new job. So just get rid of it. So, and I do kind of have a story about that because I went, they sent us home, my company sent us home, um, I believe it was like starting March of 2021, or 2020, right at the beginning. And... I think the first date I remember that they had go for us go to go back to the office, to go back and actually be in the office was, I want to say either, I want to say maybe September of 2020, which was fine, you know, see if things, you know, blow over, or not really blow over, but see if working from home, getting everyone out of the office, hopefully to, to stop the spread will help. And then the next date I remember was... December or January 1st of 2021 so fine they pushed it back you know hopefully you know I was hoping you know okay I just want to you know it's not going to be it's just temporary they're going to send us back but that first date of in September so starting um September of 2020 they announced that we'll be working home from permanently so it was one of those things where it's like I was kind of keeping things because there was that end date of us working from home and being like, oh, we're going to go back this date, this date, or this date, and they changed it. And then they finally said, oh, we're going to go fully work from home and not have you return for a while. So they stopped the lease on the building that they had and um, for the longest time, and we were just going to be working from home until they figured out if they were really going to try to find a new building or something and they do did decide they want like a building for like meetings and new higher classes and stuff like that and they wanted it to they have very specific building requirements for the what they were looking for they had to have like parking for like so many people and stuff like that it was very very specific and I was like okay well they're probably not gonna find anything for a while and they didn't so from when they announced that they were going permanently stopping you know permanently having us work from home and stopping us um from going back to the office until just recently in 2022 i believe it was 
what's today? It's the end of April. Um, I think it was the beginning of March that they announced that um, my company had found another building. Yeah, so it was over, it was almost two years without a building. And they also, and I don't know, there was some thing where they decided they were going to still, and that, even with that, they were also always going to have a work from, permanent work from home option for us. Um, and I don't remember what the reason was, but um, because the office, well, I work for like kind of a nationwide company and I just work for the local area want, um, office that's in, my, in the Dayton area. So it had something to do with another office in a di different state that I live in Ohio in a different state than I do. I do. It had something to do with that, but I don't really remember what it was. But in my office, before pre pre sent home, there was like two thousand people in the office, and one of the requirements for working from the new building, they had to have parking for at least three hundred people. So there's kind of a disconnect of parking if they were going to send make everyone work from home anyways. But, um, yeah, so, but the office is like a half an hour from my home and off of the interstate. So I live kind of close to 75, I-75. I don't know if you, anyone knows where that is, probably, but, um, but yeah, so, and the exit off of 75 for that new building is this crazy intersection that I'm like, uh, all out of all the places they could pick, they had to choose something off of that exit because it's like three lanes of traffic each way, plus like a turn lane in the middle, plus this other, this other giant intersection kind of like, like 500 feet from that exit. And it's like, that exit is just like the craziest exit ever. So I was like, Ugh. anywhere but that exit, I probably would have considered doing part work from home, part office or something but if since it was that i was like i don't know if i, I don't want to go back to that and commit to so many days a week to that so i'm just working from home but um but yeah so it's one of those things where it's like i spent i spent over two years working from home and still working from home two years not using any of that work you know, like my quote unquote office wardrobe because the company I work for has a very lax dress code. When I started in 2017, we could wear jeans and tennis shoes, but we had to wear like a, we couldn't wear t-shirts. We had to wear like, a, like business, I guess business casual t-shirt shirts, like a polo or a blouse or a button down shirt or something like that. We couldn't wear t-shirts unless it was like a work branded t-shirt, like a t-shirt that had the company logo on it, which I kind of wear. If you see these gray ones that I wear, or I have an orange one, they're the company brand ones. I just kind of streamlined my wardrobe. Um, I think last year sometime, but yeah, so you could only wear t-shirts if it was like these ones that had the company logo on it. I'm not going to show you logo cause they don't pay me to make videos. But, um, but yeah, so I started going through my stuff, be like, okay, this doesn't really fit. This doesn't really fit. I kind of don't like this. You know, I don't like this and I got rid of a ton of stuff and now I don't even kind of really need to, to go back because I'm planning on staying home, you know, continuing to work from home unless I get a different position that makes me go to the office every week, which is fine. I'll deal with that if I... I'll cross that bridge when I, when I, um, come to that. But, um, but yeah. But yes, but you, you just may want some fresh clothes if you do, um, go back to the office. So just keep that in mind too, if you're trying to get rid of things. Or, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's nice to have some, some nice clothes. I do have a few shirts nice top still that I have um that I kept that I kind of work for, used for work and they're kind of nice and I like them so I kept them but yeah so but I also got rid of some t-shirts that didn't fit that I was just keeping because it was one of those 
oh, I'll lose weight eventually or I'll fit into this eventually. And I don't. But yeah, so. And that's another thing with the, with working from, um, with even the company I was with. They let us wear t-shirt or tennis shoes and jeans. So I didn't really need to buy slacks or like dress pants or some nice non-tennis shoe shoes, if that makes sense. But yeah. Um, sorry about that. I got a, got a notification my, on my phone, but, um, but yeah, so it's one of those, I don't buy, I mean, even with working from home, I don't put on shoes unless I have to, you know, or if I have to run an errand real quick before work because I work three to midnight. So, I mean, technically I could do, um, do some sort of errand before work if I needed to, but I typically don't. Um... And then I'm only wearing the shoes for that particular instance, and then I take them off again. But yeah, so, I mean, even with shoes, if they don't fit right or they hurt, that's the thing with shoes. If you don't, if they don't fit right or they hurt your feet, you pro probably aren't wearing them anyways, and you need to get rid of them. So if they don't, so that's my one advice. If they don't fit right, if shoes or clothes don't fit, or they're too tight or too small, or they hurt your feet, for your shoes, if they hurt your feet, just get rid of them. Because you're probably not going to wear them anyways. And it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I spent good money out of them. Well, if you're not wearing them, try to sell them. If you're worried about the money, try to sell them on Facebook Marketplace. But they may not sell. I feel like shoes are kind of one of those things. It's You have to find the right person with the right size that needs that particular shoe. And if you let them know that they hurt your feet, they're probably going to hurt the other person's feet. But you can do what you want with that information if you want. But yeah. Um, let's see another thing. The other thing I read that um, the average American buys 7.5 shoes each year. I don't remember the last time I bought a pair of shoes. It was probably right before... Right before, it was probably in 20, either tw early, early 2020 or 2019. Because I got some new shoes right before they sent us home. N more t new tennis shoes. But yeah. But yeah, so, I mean, I'm not sure if you're just buying, people are just buying shoes just to buy shoes and they're a good sale. I mean, I would rather have a nice, comfortable pair of shoes that fit and spend the extra money on something that's going to last because... It's your feet. You got. I feel like I've heard that you gotta take care of your feet. So, yeah, just take care of your feet. Take care of your shoes, and yeah. So we just, um, you know, you know. Even if you do it slowly, if you're like, oh, I'm not sure about this piece. I might want to keep it. Keep it for X amount of times, and if you think about it, and you still don't want to use it, get rid of it. I mean, it's a process. You didn't accumulate hundreds and thousands of items overnight. You accumulated them over years and years and years. I'm 38 and I have accumulated a lifetime, 38 years of stuff, 38 years of stuff, which is a lot. And you just have to think. You know, it's one of those, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with this stuff. You know, take your time. Take your time. Take, slow it down. Start with something easy like trash or, or books that you don't like anymore or don't want anymore. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something easy. Um... Or duplicates of things. That might be easy. Duplicates of things. Getting rid of duplicates. Like, I, I think it was the last video, the video before. I had like three unopened things of super glue, containers of super glue. How much super glue does one, two people need? Me and my boyfriend need, technically. So I got rid of one. One thing. Like packs of super glue. Like one of them had four, one of them had two. I think. And then the other one had one, two or three. It's like, how much do we really need? How much do we go through? So try to get rid of duplicates. See if someone else 
that you know may need some super glue or tape or pens. I'll have to show you how many pens I got one, um, one video. I'll talk about like maybe office supplies or something. But yeah, pens, you know, if you know a teacher or something like that, um, see if they want, or if you have crayons or, um, even if they're used, you can be like, Hey, I have this extra, you know, crayons, pens, school supplies, whatever, paper. If you want it, you know, I'll bring it to you and you can pick out whatever you want or you can have it all. You know, just let them be like, hey, pick whatever you want or take whatever you want if you want anything or you can have it all. Or see if your local um, church or daycare center may want, want it. I'm not sure if they have like any sort of restrictions on what they may be able to, may be able to take. But um, I know the one church across the street from me that I go to has like a, I think it's a preschool or daycare um, you could always see if they, I mean, if I had anything extra, I could always be like, hey, do you guys need any, you know, any pens or anything for your, the daycare or whatever, the preschool? I think they call it preschool, but, um, tomato, tomato. Um, yeah, but it's like, I feel like sometimes with like things like that, they may have some sort of restriction on what they can actually take or even need. Um, so I'll, I feel like I'll, it doesn't hurt to ask for, you know, to see if they can even accept anything or what they may need. Because if it's something that's just not being used and it's taking up space in your house, it doesn't hurt to ask before you ship it to like, Goodwill or just chuck it out your front door. That's what I feel like doing some days. Just throwing things out my front door and just leaving it there but I know that's not the solution but yeah so start start with one item get rid of one item or a good way to maybe control your closet spaces oh another tip for closets is how many hangers do you actually have and how many hangers are not being used in your closet maybe think about get, getting rid of some hangers and be like, oh, I don't have enough hangers for all this stuff. I need to get rid of th some things. But um, you could also, um, for clothing, you could implement like a one in, one out rule. If you buy one shirt or top, you have to get rid of one. Or if you buy one pair of pants, you have to get rid of one. That's always something good to kind of keep control of what you're actually bringing in and reducing how many items you actually have and need. Because if you have 100 items... Or if the average woman has 100, over 100, a little over 100 items in their closet, articles of clothing. And if you think about it, there's only seven days in a week. How many shirts or tops or dresses do they actually need? I mean, I could kind of see if you want like a dress, a couple dresses in case you need to go somewhere. Or a skirt or something with a nice top or some nice tops. But how many do you actually need in a week? I do my laundry weekly. How often do you do, do you do your laundry? Maybe you should change to once a week. That may also reduce how many items of clothing um, you need. If so, changing the frequency of how much how often you do laundry. Because if you do it once a week, you only potentially need seven ish, eight maybe tops maybe 10 at the most um or you could do you know even if you have like a, for a woman even if you have like a dress or two plus six seven or eight tops that may be on, only what you need um or with another thing you have to look at is like your undergarments i don't know what you want to call them underwear um if you have holes in them, maybe it's time to get rid of them. I had to get rid of some and get some new because I realized I had like six pairs last year. I'm like, um, or like seven. And, and like out of the seven, like four or five had holes. I'm like, mm, I might need some new. Or socks. I have a ton of socks. I have more than seven, probably 
more than 14 pairs of socks. I have tons and tons of socks. I might need to go through them. But I've heard socks make good cleaning rags or towels or whatever you use it for. But you do you. Um, yeah. So, I, I don't know. Remember, um, I remember posting on Facebook a while ago these Pop-Tarts that were Eggo flavored Pop-Tarts. And they had some like maple flavored icing on them I, I was like i posted i was like i know how i feel about it and my sister was like oh it's a a breakfast item you put in the toaster flavored like another breakfast item you put in the toaster to each his own you do you if you know and she was kind of like okay well if, if you that intrigues you or you know if you like that that's fine i don't really care but it was just one of those things where it's like oh my gosh that's so weird but just the way she phrased it a toaster item, a, a breakfast item you put in the toaster, flavored like another breakfast item you put in the toaster. <laughs> Which just made me laugh, so, yeah. But, yeah, so, but she's like, ah, eh, whatever you want to do is fine. <laughs> that's how I feel with minimalism. If something works for me and it doesn't work for you, that's fine. You can reduce something else in your house if you're really trying to get rid of things and um, reduce the item amount of items you, you have in your house. Because I've heard, like I said before, the average American household has over 300,000 items in it, which is a lot of items. So if you get rid of one thing, even one, even if it's a pile of trash, it's, one, it's a thing you're getting rid of. Or boxes, empty boxes that things got shipped to you. It's things that you're getting rid of that hopefully you can keep out of your house instead of just accumulating but yeah, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great week. And just remember, the less stuff you own, the easier your house is to organize. Bye, guys.